All right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for another beautiful, blessed day. Hope everybody's doing well. I want to give a major shout out to the YouTube family. Y'all know who you are. Big Brother Mini Man, uh, just got through reviewing your video on the encounter and the one you did about the rapture. And I must say, powerful videos. And as I was just thinking, man, and the spirit just led in my heart to do this video, uh, common sense. You know, a lot of people spend so much time, man, with their big time degrees and debating and forget about studying in the spirit and common sense. And by God giving us common sense and wisdom also, so many things in the word of God, brother, that's just, you can use just common sense on and just take it for what it says. And I know a lot of people say, well, the Bible contradict this, the Bible contradict that. But we are all different. And I love when you say that and Pop say that a lot because if we was all thinking the same, something would be wrong with that. And when God showed me something in the spirit, it might be different than what he might show somebody else in the spirit. But at the same time, when it comes to the word of God and believing in the truth, we should all be on one accord that's following Christ. And as I was looking at your video, man, I thought about common sense. Because I always tell people this, big brother, if you don't look at who's doing the talking, who is talking to, what time frame it was, that in the Bible, if you don't understand the metaphors, the parables, the analogies, whatever you want to call it, you're going to have a hard time understanding the Bible. And so many people have a hard time if they studying it all because, well, they want to get with this person or this person. They, when you start listening at too many people, hmm, and you never study for yourself, and you just listen to too many people, you will stay confused. This is why I study for myself all the time. And when you was talking about that rapture, um, <laughs> it made me think about uh, something I said in my older video. Because I'm like you, brother. I said I can't see myself riding down the street, say me and Pop on our way to go to our favorite fish place, and all of a sudden Pop just gets snatched out of the car. And I'm just looking around wondering where Pop went. And some people on this side of the street get snatched up. Now we got the Lord coming back so many times, man. And, and what's so sad that a lot of people don't catch is that Jesus told us these days was coming. But he also said, <laughs> don't run back and get nothing. We can, see what, we can see what a lot wife did. But in these end times, when he really get to the end, he said, don't go back to get anything. That's the other part that Pop be talking about when we say get prepared. Now, like me, when I say get prepared, I always say ain't nothing wrong with stacking up stuff and, you know, buying food or, or, or water or whatever, or whatever you need to stack up with. That's what I be saying when I get prepared. Ain't nothing wrong with doing extra stuff. But at the same time, when the end is the end, the end is the end. And it always makes me think back to Y2K back in 2000 when man said the world was going to end. Most people went out and bought all kind of stuff. My auntie did the same thing. She went stacked up on so much water from the ground to the ceiling and canned goods. And I said, Auntie, if the end is here, what good is all that going to do for you? You can't take it with you. And we all, in this world, man, people are so caught on what man say. They're not even going to believe in the word of God. And I said, it's just common sense. And me and Pop was talking about this the other day when we was eating. And I said, some things in the Bible, you got to look at what it was what it was saying and who it was saying to. A lot of things were applied to Israel. And you can't take certain scriptures and throw them at people and say, well, this is what that means. Let's give you another good example. When they say flee to Judea, head toward the mountains, let's say it like that. Man, man, I stay in Dallas, Texas. Here goes my common sense kicking in. How in the world am I going to run to some mountains? If the end is here, I ain't got nowhere to run. <laughs> if the end is here, say the end is next week. JT ain't got nowhere to run. I can't run to no mountains. I stay in Dallas, Texas in the hood. Where am I going to run? See, common sense got to kick in. And, and the way Jesus taught is just beautiful. And I always thought about the disciples when he told the disciples ahead of time, and even though they was walking right there, they still had a hard time believing in God. How could you walk that close? See things. He tell you what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. And you still don't believe. Well, same just like nowadays. Most people calling themselves Christians. They don't believe. 
common sense and studying in the spirit is what take me a long way. Because one thing I do is say, Lord, reveal to me. That's why I say now he might reveal it to Pop different. He might reveal it to many man different or whoever looking at this video. We don't all think the same all the time, people. We need to understand that. But that is no reason to have no fallout. This is why I can always look at many man. I can look at a whole lot of people, though I might not agree on a whole lot of stuff because people don't agree. Many man might see something JT said and be like, I don't, I don't follow JT on that one. And that's cool. Who going to get mad behind that? Me and many man speak about, and pop, we speak about some of the same subjects and we all tell it our different kind of way. That's the same thing the four Gospels did. Let's just be honest. They all was there, to, not except Luke, Luke wasn't there. But when they told their stories, they all told it different. You can see in the Bible, and then that's why a lot of people say, man, the Bible is a lie. Look at what Mark said right here, but then Matthew said this. Well, when you fast forward over here, John said like this. He said he saw three witnesses, but he said he saw two. Then you got confusion, but ain't no confusion to me. They still told the story, and they still saw it their way. But that whole thing about that that secret rapture, man, and, and some of this stuff, like you was, oh, you made a good point talking about those movies. Me and Pop talk about those movies all the time. This is why you got so much confusion on what color Jesus is. People debate about this. You the true Israelite, or you got fake Jews, this and that. And I always tell people that to argue about the color of Jesus, man. I said that when they get through proving their point, what's after that? See if he ain't black. See if he ain't white or whatever color you want to say. What's your point after that? And ain't now one of us seen him. Matter of fact, we ain't even seen the devil. How do you even know what Satan look like? See, I go deep with folks, man. Not, not to confuse them, but we ain't never seen Christ or the devil. And this is why you got so much confusion on the devil. Most people think, well, the devil got these horns coming out of his head. The devil is a beast. That's just false teaching. The Bible teaches you. So you got to understand the symbols in the Bible. The Bible teach you how pretty Satan is. Coming in and look like God, how you going to look like a beast? See, people don't, common sense, man. Common sense take you a long way. God gave us so many things. And we, we have a hard time understanding because you got people that want to confuse you and debate about stuff all the time. Beautiful video, Mitty, man. And I had to just come back and say, common sense, man common sense, and you got to look at where you are and how close are you really trying to get with the Lord, because we got so many people that don't believe in God, like you say, I like your point you made when you were saying, so if you was wrong, and there was no God, I always say that too many, man, what do I have to lose, if there is no God, there is no heaven, what do I have to lose, and I'm going to die a believer, What's the worst going to happen to me? Nothing. But say if I am right, like we say, man, and there is a heaven. Mm. Well, we know the end of that story. We know the end of that story. And what's so sad, man, man, everything the Bible has spoke of is lining up right now. And some more things are going to happen, just like the Bible say. And people don't still want to believe, just like they didn't believe Christ. There is no way you can call yourself a believer and you, you cannot overlook these signs of what's going on in this world. Common sense and studying in the spirit. That's why I know the Lord have a beautiful sense of humor. I believe he be sitting up there saying they just still don't get it. Out of all these years, out of all the teaching and preaching, they just still don't get it. They still don't understand my word. And it's going to be just like the days of Noah. Just like you said, Mitty Man, in your video. People was just they were doing what they wanted to do still. Drinking and having fun, getting married, and, and not worrying about it. But as soon as that flood came, like you say, it was only eight. Noah family, it was only eight that got on that ark. And we know what happened to the rest. Flood swiped them out. And that's the same way it's going to be when Christ returned. Everybody going to still be, not everybody, it's gonna, some, there's some believers out there, but it's going to be a whole lot of people still sleeping around. Still fornicating, still doing dope, still homosexuals being with homosexuals, lesbians being with lesbians. It's still going to be some preacher in the pulpit begging for money when the end is near. It's still going to be somebody drunk and they ain't going to know what's going on. It's still going to be somebody so high as hell that they ain't going to know what's going on when Christ returns. 
I'm like you, brother. I don't gamble with my life. I try to get it right while I'm living. Because I don't know when the day when Christ will return. But I do know one thing, brother. He will return. He is not a lie. He is not a man who will lie. His word is the truth. And it's up to you to believe it or not. That It's up to you. I can't make nobody do nothing. All I can do is be the messenger and not the enforcer. I don't have no keys to put nobody in heaven nor hell. I'm trying to make it into heaven myself. And I want you to be there. I want a whole lot of people to be there. But it seems like a whole lot of people are choosing to fall in the devil's footsteps. It makes me think of P.P. Drawings' old video. Which side will you choose? Because you got to choose. And P.P. Drawings, big shout out to you. Which side will you choose? You can't, you can't be trying to halfway step into hell and try to just step on into heaven. You're going to be like that rich man because... That rich man really, <laughs> he really could still see Lazarus. Mm. And let me know it's a separation line right there. Uh-oh. That gulf in between that, that, that rich man still could see. And he prayed and want, he wanted his, he oh, he wanted his brothers to be saved, but it was too late. So you got to catch, that's why I say common sense. So when I read that, my mind just automatically go to common sense. Hell and heaven wasn't too, too far away. Because if he could still look down that line and see, and remind you that rich man was still alive and yet speaking and could see. See, people, you got to understand, when you are still living, when you die, there is life after death. And there is no death in Christ. Christ conquered death. There is eternal life. Salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not how much money you can take up on Sunday morning, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not, not how long you're going to have another building fund, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not about who's going to fuss and fight over who's going to sing, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not about fussing and fighting in the pulpit to figure out who's going to preach that Sunday, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Hmm. Not going outside looking at the parking lot to see who got to find this vehicle, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not, not to see who's best dressed, but salvation is what you need to be focused on. Not about how much money you're going to raise at pastor's and wife's anniversary, but salvation is what we need to be focused on. Not running the sinners out of the church and not condemning folks in the pulpit and not looking over the poor and the hungry and the homeless, but looking... For that salvation, it's already right there. Hmm. How bad do you want it? We have turned so many people away from the house of God that don't nobody even want to go no more. That's why the church is within me, you, the believers. Don't care who you are, what color you are, whatever part you're in around the world, it don't matter. I didn't even mean to go this far, Mitty Man. I'm just letting the Lord work through me in this video. I just, I just got to be obedient. To the Holy Spirit, because that video, it, it it hyped me up this morning, man. And when I saw that in the count, I got to see that movie, man. I want to see that because I have seen some movies, man, that ain't nothing but a lie. The devil got his, like like we say, Satan is the prince of this world. The devil, if he, he just so convincing and smooth and slick because he can take one word and flip it. God Almighty, and that's what he have done. And one thing that he flipped will confuse so many. That's why so many confused preachers, brother. People preaching their own doctrine now. I, I can start up a church right now, and, and, and we can worship this pen right here. And it's going to be what our church is built on, this pen. And you know what? I can get a whole bunch of followers because a lot of people are going to believe in this pen. And I'm going to put this pen higher than Jesus, and people are going to believe that this is higher than Jesus. You can, you can start up a gospel off a pen right now. And that's sad and sick. And with that being said, brother, God bless you, man. Y'all have a beautiful day. See y'all on the next one.